allow the halter to work, allow the bit to work. So all I did was say, go this way. And just the pressure from the halter, the animal goes. I didn't say, come over here. I didn't say, go over here, did I? I just made my mule work. I didn't allow the halter to work. You see? I allow the halter to work. Adjusting a halter is very, very imperative and having it down here where it's two fingers above the nostril. Notice how the mule is dropping his head down. Do you see that? Why is that? Mules care more about their nose than they do their mouth. So if you want to train, you train the donkey side, the nose. You train the horse side, you put it up here, the horse, how many times the horse puts you on ignore or gets flighty and goes, ah, I'm out of here, right? Okay, so you adjust the halter, which I'm going to show you, and you put it down here. The first thing that's going to happen is the head's going to drop, and then I'm going to kind of, I'm going to squeeze it, and then I'm going to push backwards a little bit. See? I don't have to have a lot of pressure. All I have to do is have my tool adjusted so that it's correct. My space, yeah. Uncomfortable. Comfortable. Do you think that mules look around like that more than horses? It seems to me like she's always looking, my mule does this, as if you can't see me, she's looking all over, but my horse would never do that. The donkey's always saying, I gotta take care of myself. The side of the mule, the donkey side says, hey, horse, look, you're getting yourself in trouble. The donkey says, we better do this, and we get the response, you're right. They are looking around. They are, they do want to know what's going on, okay? And, and therefore, they're taking care of themselves, just like right here. I want this mule just to stand quiet. Look straight ahead. My left eye is thinking about me. My left brain, remember the cranial lobe. That doesn't tell which one's which. So I'm going down the trail. Notice the licking of the lips. Yes, sir, Mr. Steve. I like the Mr. part. I get away with this with the mule. My wife says, yes, ma'am, what would you? I said, what do you want, honey? <laughs> okay, so now, you see, you see, when I'm going down the trail, I want them to pay attention to me. There, good for you. And so, therefore, I want straight. If they're looking around, they're looking for monsters, and guess what? Just like this mule did in the very beginning, he's not paying attention to me. He's not listening to me. And that's what I got to have. So, the minute you put a halter on is the minute you control his every thought. And you'll see the thoughts because of the nose. And what I'm doing is, every time the mule doesn't keep his mind on me, I want this much right here. Maybe straight, but at least that much right there where that left brain's thinking about me. That left brain is saying, okay, if I watch you right there, oh, see, see, see the thought there? If I keep my head right here, you don't hit my nose, right? Right. See, I have to allow him to make a mistake to say that is incorrect. Notice how now it's less. There, right there. You want to train a mule to side pass, turn on the forehand, turn on the hindquarters, back up. You do it from the nose with a properly adjusted rope halter. Your horse trainers that are looking like, uh, they call themselves mule trainers, one of the first things you'll start hearing them talk about is other things other than the mule's nose. You'll see it all the time, okay? It's imperative that you train from the nose. I can get more done with the nose. This is asking, telling, there we go. I'm asking the mule to back up. So what were you looking at? So what I was doing, I was simply picking up on the halter. Remember I was telling you before, allow the halter to work, allow the bit to work? So all I did was say, go this way. And just the pressure from the halter, the animal goes. I didn't say, come over here. I didn't say, go over here. I? I just made my mule work. I didn't allow the halter to work. You see, I 
allow the halter to work. Make the halter work. You see? I'm making it work. Watch this. Step back out here a little bit. You see me leaving my mule? The halter's working. It's the halter. Okay? Yeah, can it be some of me? Yeah. But most of all, the halter's doing the job, not me. See, and as long as that pressure is on that halter, this mule is looking for this. He's looking for comfortable. Hey, you're making me uncomfortable here. You've scared the crap out of me now. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> okay, you see, I'm making this animal uncomfortable. You are? Well, yeah, because the halter now, and, and I'll explain this to you in a minute. Now, notice how the, how the rope comes away from the halter. Come over here to this side. Notice the pressure on the halter. You see here? Notice when I want to go this way, the pressure comes off. Pressure goes on. Pressure comes off. See that? So what's the meal looking for? I want to be comfortable. This thing is putting pressure on my nose. You see? What's he looking for? I want both sides to feel equal. Ah, life's good right here. Do you see? So you're making him uncomfortable just by picking up on the lead rope, y'all. And then you get this five pounds of lead rope on here. Okay, and all the time, watch this, watch this. Remember what I was talking about? He's going down the trail. Oh. Do you see it? Why do they have a big muscle right in here? Why do they get tight in the throat latch? This is one reason right here. He's going down the trail. I'm overemphasizing right now, but just it's going to be moving some. Look at that halter move on his nose. Yeah, be more than that. Do you see it? Okay. So now I got a big honking halter and a and a big snap. Okay on a sweet little mule, you know, that, well, you better, better bow, yes, very good. I actually, me and this mule, I was out with this mule earlier today, people don't know this, but I told this mule this, and this is really important, I want you to all remember this. Roses are red, violets are blue, when mules make me look bad, we'll be turned to glue. <laughs> Disposition, y'all. This, I mean, you, this, this is a multi-million dollar mule right here, you know. This meal here wouldn't hurt you in a thousand years unless you got scared, which happens immediately, okay? But a disposition like this here is a wonderful thing. You, everybody thinks, oh, this meal's trained. No, this meal's got a disposition. The training within 10-foot circle, if I see this meal side pass, turn on the forehand, turn on the hindquarters, and back up all in a 10-foot circle, you just impressed me because now I see training, all right? Oh, he's been up in the mountains. That's not impressive. I had a horse trainer tell me, trainer, he says, yeah, I rescue these horses. And I said, I just ride them up the trail. And I said, you're a trainer? Yeah. I said, uh, did they side pass? No. They turn on the forehand? No. But they go up the trail. That's not trained, folks. That is disposition. Disposition, disposition, disposition. Okay? So can you do things, which we'll be doing. Uh, also, can you teach them how to side pass, turn on the forehand? Yeah. I take my lead rope, turn it up here like this, and side pass. Using the nose with my halter here, which needs to be readjusted. Turn on the forehand. So the front end stays in place. Now I bring my lead rope over here, and the back end goes around. The back end goes around. Oh, I understand now. <laughs> Ask, tell, demand. You see what I did? I said, go over with the back end. She's bracing into me. Okay, let's do that again. Bracing into me. Good. Oh, I understand. Ask. Then the tail. Now the demand, I could really get whacking. But did you notice, by the third time the mule did it. <clears throat> Every time I got a little bit of response, my third time was better. Ask, tell, demand, all right?